Emaw. But they do in Manhattan, Kansas. It means every man a Wildcat. And inside Bill Snyder Family Stadium, virtually every man, woman, and child is a Wildcat and loves Kansas State. Today, a top 25 matchup on hand to college football's premier teams preparing to square off. As we'll see, the number 16 team in the country, the Arizona Wildcats, taking on the 19th ranked team in the land, the Kansas State Wildcats. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Arizona will boot it away to start this one. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Kansas State Wildcats offense will start this game off. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's The expressway is wide open. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. Kansas State quick to the line. Got it behind the line. It's Cephas. At the 35, he's got room. And this defense's head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. Going to run it. It's Giddens. Defense holds their ground. Pick up of a yard. It's at the 26. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there, but they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Now the play fake. Just a short pass to the tight end. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. There's not a lot more beautiful in football than the play action and the open tight end. Because yeah, it freezes those linebackers. It freezes those safeties because they have to come up for a second and play the run. And then the big tight ends, big targets on the back end can catch the football and make big plays. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. This offense knew coming into this one, guys, how important it was to start early. And on this opening drive for them, they're doing a nice job running the football there on third down. They're in a position on the field now. If you're on defense, you got to be ready for a shot throw into the end zone. And the Wildcats have it with a first and ten. The give to the back. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They go to the ground. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Johnson wants to throw it. Floating away. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Well, the defense just spent a whole lot of energy, too. That was a long play. That, that developed and took time, and they were pursuing, and they weren't able to get him initially. So you got dudes huffing and puffing and sucking wind, and this offense all of a sudden down close to your goal line. You might want to consider subbing some fresh bodies out on the field. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. 
He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Now on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. The offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TD. Ready to try the point after. And the PAT makes it 7-0. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. So Arizona's offense has its first opportunity of the day. And what a great matchup we have of two highly productive runners, David. And I like the competition aspect of this, Reese. Like, I'm watching what you're doing on the other side, and I'm going to prove I'm a better running back than you. Both these guys are looking to be the man today. And both guys can go the distance, right? These two running backs seem to get better as the game goes on. So which defense can be more physical, step up, and at least slow the other guy down? Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He makes the tackle at the 33 after a pickup of five. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. Trying to turn the corner on the jet sweep. At the 45 on its way. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. For a jet sweep to work, you've got to have a lot of speed with the ball carrier. But how about the blocking downfield by his fellow receivers and his teammates going downfield and getting a hat on hat? Nice job. Arizona right back to the line. The give from the gun. Open space at the 25. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, He's going to hit it, and right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. After losing yardage, it's second and 12. Running back searching for a hole. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. You know, if you want to run the ball up the middle, you're going to have to block that guy. I mean, nobody even touched him, and he slanted right into the backfield, made the tackle for Lance. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. Defense knocks him down immediately after the catch, but now they're facing a goal-to-go -go situation from the seventh. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking. 
on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. Turning to the running game on first and goal. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense creating the tackle for a loss on first down. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. That's a phenomenal job getting after the quarterback and getting a hit on him to affect his accuracy because if they didn't get the pressure, that was going to be a touchdown. He had a guy wide open in the end zone. That was a golden opportunity, but the defense comes up big. And the try is no good. After that miss, still a seven-point game, guys. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. On that last drive, defense had no idea what was happening, run or pass, and it wound up in the end zone, Jesse. Yeah, you saw the experience in this offense that last drive, too, on that touchdown. Everybody on the same page. These guys have repped these plays over and over in practice and in games, and it's working. Man. Yeah, so I got to find a way to disrupt it. I, I got to find a way to maybe be more aggressive, maybe blitz, mess up this rhythm they got going. Handoff to the single running back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. And just a great job by the defense being stout. All right, that's your job. Be stout up front, stuff in the run play, make them get in more passing situations, but do not let them run the football. That's 101. Stop the run first. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. The play action fake. Fires to the big fella. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Guys, it's Kansas State who carries the lead into the quarter break. We've put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. The Wildcats have it with a first and ten. Johnson looking to throw. He's got his man. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. I mean, getting suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for a loss. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Well, you hear all the time that the tight end's the QB's best friend. You saw a perfect example of it on that last play, right? Second down, you need to pick up some positive yards to keep this third down manageable. Really nice job of executing that. Lining up to convert third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Kansas State will have to punt it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Perhaps feeling that coverage coming signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 25. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. Coming after it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. 
Well, the linebacker showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. He'll pull it on the read. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. I'll tell you, this is a hard defense to run against if you're going to go sideline to sideline because of that guy's speed at linebacker. He can get all the way to the perimeter, chase the quarterback down on the option, and make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Impressive. And the running game has been going in the wrong direction. They'll try to get their first positive play of the drive here on third. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. Man, that's a great example of KYP. Know your personnel. A QB that doesn't run great, trying to get outside the pocket. Nice job by the defense, applying pressure and running him down and getting the huge loss. Arizona runs out the punt team. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. So from the shadow of his goal post, he gets the punt away. On the return, it's Lockett. And the returner is stopped. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the field. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Johnson wants to throw it. Firing to the right, complete. And he tried to string out that run, but there was nowhere to turn it upfield, and he's forced out of bounds for a loss. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the right. And the misconnection on third down. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. K-State sends the punt team onto the field ready to boot it away. And the punt hits ground at the two and goes into the end zone. He just missed, pinning them right in the shadow of the goalpost. It'll come out to the 20. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to go option, and they're trying to put that defensive end in a bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. And off from the shotgun. And he is just engulfed at the line by this giant defensive tackle. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. From the gun, wants to pass. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. Yeah, and the defensive line, you know, third and long situations. I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He gets a block. Returns going to get it up around midfield. He'll be down at the 49-yard line. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. They'll go to the ground. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. 
You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. On first and 10 from the 38. They'll ride the hot hand. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. On the ground, it's Giddens. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Johnson looking to throw. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. Well, he does a really nice job buying time, and I love the awareness there, understanding no one's open downfield, knowing where the sticks are, and he's able to use his athleticism to get that first down. This Kansas State offense is moving quickly down the field. Quick completion on the out route, and he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Nice job there. Good timing between the QB and the wide receiver executing that out route. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. And the shot to the middle of the field falls to the turf. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. They'll try to get the first through the air. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. It is true as he puts three on the board. And that will extend their lead even further. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. Set sail out of the end zone. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close. Though. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. To the air, it's Fafita. Got his man down the middle. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Ball's at the 25. From the gun. Wants to pass. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Arizona runs out the punt team. They'll look to pin him deep.
He's got great speed. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. On second down, he's looking downfield. Got it set up on the outside. They almost got a first down there. Stopped a yard short. It'll be third down. Love the execution there on the screen. The running back shows pass protect, pass protect. Last second turns around, so he's able to get the ball. The D linemen have already run past him. Now he can turn up field for a big gainer. A completion, but not quite enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. Got him wide open. Touchdown, Kansas State. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finished it with an explosive play in the passing game, scoring from 47 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. Dropping back, it's Fafita. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like, this is, this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. you got to get some points on the board. you got to create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about in the first half. If I'm playing quarterback, I'm locating my go-to guy at receiver. Who can I count on one-on-one -on -one to go and make me a play? Maybe even one-on-two. Who can go up? catch the ball, get us some yards, and get us some points. Makes the catch. It's McMillan. Tackled immediately after the catch. Well, when you're running the drag route against man coverage like that, as a quarterback, you've got to put the ball out in front of your target. And when you do that, you give the guy a chance to then advance the football up the field, pick up a first down like they did right there. Arizona in a hurry. On second down, wants to throw. He makes a catch. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. All right, guys. Looks like we've got a great scene there today in Manhattan. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. With that said, let's send it back to the guys in the Little Apple.
Kansas State will kick off as we get things started here in the third quarter. And he's coming out of the end zone. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. Arizona has it back, the offense coming out to bear down. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops, so it puts a lot of pressure on this offense. Not much there. They'll give him one to the 14. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Looking for a man. It's Fafita. Released to the back. The throw to the outside is complete. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. Nice poise by the quarterback. Here's a big third down throw, and you want to push the ball vertically down the field, but if the defense takes it all away, check the ball down. Get it to your running back and let him go do the work and move the sticks for you. Arizona right back to the line. The give to the tailback. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll ride the running back and leave it with it. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. They'll try to run for it. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. On the move, it's Rocket. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. Leaves it with the back. Runs through the tackle. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D-linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. Fights off a defender. Picks his way and gets four out to the 27. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. Johnson wants to throw it. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. Kansas State will have to punt it away. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. 
That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. It's a bad sign on offense when you have that many people running free at your running back. That means guys up front aren't getting their blocks. Just too many hats getting to the ball carrier. I love his effort making multiple guys miss, but still, it's a negative play. Off the play fake. Balls it in. Nice pick up there. Gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45-yard line. And when you're running the ball well, QBs love going to play action. You get the linebackers starting to suck up closer to the line of scrimmage. They're keying on those running backs, and it just makes pitch and catch so much easier for these quarterbacks and receivers. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Got him downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. And that big gainer on the last one has them threatening from inside the 10. Back to throw. It's Fafita. Back open in the middle. They get it down to the 7 on that pass play in prime position for a score. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Wildcats! Got to start cutting into this lead somewhere. Now the question... Will they have enough time? But that's step one. You, you got to get that first score. You got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. You still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they close to within 10, down 17-7. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And he found his way to the end zone from the seven to cap it. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's got it. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, when you're throwing these comeback routes, man, the timing has got to be so good between the two of them because you know the ball is going to be in the air a long time. You can't throw it late. It's going to get picked. That time, really nice job getting it out early and the receiver doing a nice job on his route so that the ball was right on him as soon as he turned around. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. Just a short return, but that would have been icing on the cake. They've got it first down at the 42. Not all DBs make the play at the end, right? They, they can bat the ball down, they can be in position, but they don't really secure the football. Great job by the DB securing the football and forcing the turnover. Arizona has it back, the offense coming out to bear down. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled, you realize what's going on. Now, I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, all right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened the previous drive. You've got to bow up again and go back to what was working earlier in this game. He'll do it himself. 
And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. And here comes the offense on second down. Trying play action. Grabbed over the middle. It's Murphy. Lowers that shoulder and delivers the blow. He was smelling that end zone, but they get him down at the four after the big pass play. And this offense is just so dynamic because they've got playmakers at all the skill positions, right? We just saw a big play in the running game. Now we see one in the passing game. There's not one dude that you can key on here if you're on defense to try and slow them down. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Two of their three red zone trips have come up empty. They'd like to punch it in here on second and goal. Trying to pound it in. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, and that's a frustrating play when you go in reverse near the goal line. Goal to go situations, Palmer. You've got to get those positive yards. You can't go backwards if you're trying to get a touchdown. You know, I'm trusting in my quarterback here to make the right decision. Looks like we're going to have to throw it, right? But if it's not open, just throw this thing away. You don't want to take a sack, lose extra yardage here. Just be smart with the football. And he was able to pick up a few yards on the ground, and the clock has run out here in the third. Guys, it's Kansas State who carries the lead into the quarter break. They've built a cushion. They've got a nice lead. Now the task is finish the deal as you take a look at the third quarter stats. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Right down the boulevard, it's good. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. K-State has the ball back, and the power cat offense returns to the field. And now that cushion is a little bit smaller, Jesse, and any mistake would get magnified. Yeah, a little bit of pressure now on this offense, too, David. I think they got to go back to their playmakers and get these guys going in the game. No doubt. Find those plays, those plays you know you can run them in your sleep. You make sure you execute. Build this lead a little bit bigger. Put this thing away in the fourth quarter. Line getting set on second down. Johnson looking to throw. He's right on target. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. They're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical. They're too fast, and they force a negative play. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. From the gun, wants to pass. He tries to take the top off, and it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. A defender was right there. And that is a frustrating possession for this offense. You wanted to run the football maybe, take some time. You did the opposite. Got in a bad situation, threw the football, stopped the clock. Not how you manage a game late in the fourth quarter. K-State sends the punt team onto the field, ready to boot it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Makes a move. Puts him in the spin cycle. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Got his man quickly. 
They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. And you've created some great momentum, getting the stop, forcing the punt, now getting it back to your offense. Your offense starting to get in the groove. Late in the game, you need some big plays. You just wonder how much panic there is right now on the defensive side of the football, too, because of what you just said, David. They can feel and sense the momentum leaving them right now with the lead. So someone defensively better step up here soon and make a play. And I don't like the play call, guys. Screen pass at this point of the game against the defense, playing big zones, prevent trying to keep the ball in front. It's just not going to work. You've got to take shots offensively. Now on third down for this offense. He'll keep it himself. The offense pops it up, and they were on the move. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. And when you run the option, you run the risk of putting the ball in the deck, and especially once that thing starts to string out and the defense does a really good job playing assignment football. Man on a man. I got the quarterback taken care of, and you could tell. I had the running back taken care of, too. Nowhere to go with that pitch, and they forced the turnover. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Keep it on the ground. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? Johnson wants to throw it. Looking deep. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. Kansas State will have to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. When you're playing from behind, you can't afford to give it up the way they did the last drive, David. No doubt. You cannot give the football away. Again, turnovers are the biggest stats in winning and losing games. You're behind, Palmer. Take care of the ball, but we got to go get a score here. Yeah, and they just got to do a better job executing. I like the game plan so far for them, but they just need to go out and do a better job connecting the dots. After the big play to start, now they are on the move at their own 45. Coming out on first down with the play fake. He lost it high and deep down the left side. The incompletion brings us to second and 10. From the gun, running back on the move. Really good pickup on second down there. Leaves him with third and two. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. They're facing a third down. They'll try to run for it. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. Well, they needed two yards to get that first down. That's exactly what they got. Great job of execution. No secret about it. Just got to be physical, get a hat on a hat, low man wins, all the cliches to get that third down and short. In search of that tying touchdown, they've moved the chains a couple of times. It's first and 10 again. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. 
They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. Catch in the middle. It's Riley. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. Looking to pass. It's Fafita. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Now from inside the red zone. Got a man, it's Murphy. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. And Jesse, you have a slot receiver like this. He can create matchup nightmares for a defense. No doubt about it, Reese. And him and this quarterback, they really are on the same page. He's so deliberate with his route running. The quarterback knows exactly where he's going to be and when he's going to be there. Snagged in the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. That is so impressive. Not only was it a great catch, but also he made sure he had one foot in bounds to get the touchdown. Beautiful job. Getting set for the point after. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive, and the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. He'll pull it on the read. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. How easy was that? I mean, when you got a quarterback that can run design runs like this and, and get you five-plus yards just and make it look that easy, God, it makes it really hard for the defenses to stop. Here on second and short. Using his feet. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. The clock stopped. Two minutes left to play in this one. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Makes the catch. It's Brown. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Kansas State back at it after picking up the first down. He wants to throw. Find his tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? So surprised we have not been calling this guy's name more. He's one of the best tight ends in the country, but give the defense credit. They have had an outstanding game plan limiting him so far. That's only his second catch of the game. Johnson looking to throw. Gets it out fast. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. 
Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. The aerial assault continues. Oh, and it's picked off. This could be huge in a tie game. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. I get it. It's the fourth quarter. It's a tie game. I need to go out and make a play offensively. But I tell you what, I'm going to be on the sideline now after that interception. As a quarterback, I'm like, please, defense, please go out there and bail me out. Give me another opportunity to go take the lead and win this ballgame. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? Looking to throw on second down. Fires to the middle. And the throw down the gut falls to the grass. Well, I know it hasn't been a tremendous day statistically for this quarterback, but his decision-making has been good enough to win this game. Hasn't thrown a lot of TDs so far, but when things aren't open, he throws it away like on that play right there. He's not putting his team in a bad spot, and that's why they still have a shot to walk out of here with a W. A strike downfield. Touchdown, Arizona! And inside a minute to go, and they've got the lead. And how about this offense, man? They knew they needed to execute. Great play calling, great drive, put it together. Now you got a chance to go up by seven late in this ball game, and then let your defense go on the field and seal it for you. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the finisher coming courtesy of that touchdown toss from 45 yards out. Now that they have the lead, this kickoff unit has to stay in their lane, create some field position, and hand it over to the defense. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. They get the timeout called. 11 seconds remaining to play. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. Johnson wants to throw it. Just gets rid of it to the running back underneath. They'll use the timeout. Six seconds left on the clock. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away. and They've got to push the ball down the field. On third and long, try to convert through the air. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. And it's caught inside the 25. And he gets it in for the touchdown. Time has expired. They're down by one. They can send it to overtime with the kick or win it with the two. How about the bomb, the Hail Mary coming out, and the offense executes it great. They throw the ball deep. Where's the defense? Man, you know this ball is going deep. You know they need it. They got to have it. And the defense just doesn't play great, doesn't get to the football to make a play. They have to have this extra point to send us to overtime. And no problem on that extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. Well, guys, let's play some more. Headed to overtime. <laughs> 
And this just feels right. Both of these teams going back and forth. So, of course, David, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions probably. Maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? All right, guys. So here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And it's so nice to be on defense first. Just to set the tone, to understand what you need. Try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to go out and get a win. Just two possessions, Paul. We're like, you got to be at your best. Yeah, and I love the new rules, too, because in the third overtime possession, it goes to alternating two-point plays. Back and forth. Who's got anything left in the tank here in OT? Out of the gun, the give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They'll line up for a second down play. To throw, it's Fafita. Using the quick game. And they pick up just a few on that completion. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking down the middle. And it's incomplete on third down. They'll try to strike first with a field goal in overtime. Just drives it between the uprights. And after the field goal, guys, they are back on top. Down by three. It's their turn here in overtime. A touchdown will win it. Here's first down. They're going to open this drive with a pass. They'll run the screen. Shakes off the defender. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Giddens. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. Offense set on first down. He's going to pass. Caught over the middle. It's Brown. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Johnson looking to throw. Makes the grab. That completion will take it inside the four and the offense is threatening. Big third down here as they try to keep the drive alive. A touchdown will win it. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. He's in! A game-winning touchdown in overtime! Man, really nice job attacking the middle of the field. You see those safeties? Man, I want to split them. He splits it right down the middle, throws that post right on the numbers, catches the ball in the end zone. Touchdown. 